Hey guys, it's Dylan. I have gotten a request by Mad Hatter apparently three hours ago um, to do a tutorial on uh, Gypsy Bard by Sherclop Pones or Friendship is Witchcraft. Now, I will suggest you guys have a capo, and that's going to be going on to the first threat. Fret. If you don't do it, then you can do bar chords. Um, it's the same difference as long as you have the bar, as long as you have the bar chords and you are pressing the right frets, it's not that hard to do. Or if you don't, if or if you rather not do bar chords, you have no capo, um, and or you don't want to or you can't do bar chords, then you can just uh, transfer it down a a key or a key, sorry, a fret. So it's going to be a half step down, so instead of playing it in the key of G sharp, you're going to be playing in the key of G. So, uh, I'll just explain more into that later. Um, as for the, uh, as for the picking part at the beginning, it's going to be a little hard for me to explain, because I'm not really good at remembering it, I just do it, it's kind of a natural reaction to me. Um, from what I can remember, you're just going to be using the two high strings, the first and second string, the high E and the B string. And you're going to start on the sixth fret of the B string. And then you're going to start playing the A string. So four, so six, and then on the high E string, four, six, eight, six, um, Okay, four, six, eight, six, four, and that six, four is a little faster. Okay. And then eight. You're gonna play the eight, the eighth fret, and then you're going to play the sixth fret on the B string, and then you're going to run through that again, and then instead of playing the 8th fret and then the 6th fret on the B string, you're going to play the 6th fret on the B string and then the 4th fret on the B string. This next part is going to be a little harder for me to instruct, so I'm actually going to get closer and hopefully you guys can see it just in case I terribly play it along. Um. Okay, so I know it's the 4 on the B string for the second time. I'm sorry, it's, it's really hard to remember. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Give me a second. Gypsy Bard tabs. It's going to be a lot easier. Okay. Well, can you open up in something better? I'm sorry, I should really plan this out more. And it doesn't have the tabs on this. Okay. I might just have to continue doing it the way I was doing it. Uh, give me a second. Okay, sorry for that. I can't find something, so... Um, the best I can really do is, uh, play it slow. So... I'm in the middle of recording, leave me alone. Sorry, I was watching my little brother. Okay, so four on the B, four on the high E. And then I believe it goes to the 8 on the high. Okay, so, um, 4 on the 
B, four on the high E, six, A, and then you're gonna hit the eight a few times. I can't really say how much, just have to hear it. And then six, 11. And then after the 11, you go back to the six on the B. And I think you just do uh, the first part of the first part. I mean, uh, like, if you guys, I, I think that if you guys can visualize it and you guys actually know what you're doing, if you can visualize it and hear it, you can mess around with it. Um, because I kind of did that um, when I was learning uh, the Tapper of Astras. Um, the guy didn't really explain the the momentum of doing it or if you have to hit a certain one more than one time. Um, so I kind of like figured that out myself. And that's the first half of the intro. And the second half. Six, four, six in the B, and then four um, several times. Six on the B. So after that second six in the B. Six in the high E, eight. And then you basically fiddle with these for a bit. Okay, so... So after the high E, six, four. Okay, so after the high E, you play six, four. And then, and that's when you start fiddling with the higher uh, higher frets. So eight, eleven, eight. I'm so used to not going like that. Hold on. So after the eight, eleven, eight, four, six on the B, four on the B. And then a uh, second four on the B. Okay, second four in the B. And then you play the, and then you're basically doing the uh, second half of the first half. Or it's the, yeah. It, it's kind of hard to, um, it's hard for me because I know what I'm doing, so I don't have to worry about actually doing it. Wow, I have a minute left. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, so I'm going to play through it slow. So hopefully you guys um, were able to understand that. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, hopefully it's still the same video because um, I had to stop my other video to do things. So yeah, um, so now I'm going to teach the chords. The chords are very simple, as I said, capo, first fret. And then the chords are E minor, 
C G D and then E minor A minor C G that's all the chords and it's pretty much that order the entire time so after the intro Um, you play the chord, and what I like to do, because it kind of sounds like the song, you do twice. And then you basically um, hit the strings, or you mute it. Because it, it sounds, it gives it more of the percussion by hitting the string. And then for the uh, kind of bridge part, you just play the chords outright. When I was a little silly, it got me with it, took my city, so shoot me up to the orphanage, said this is a if you want to fit in. So I dug 1,000 holes, cut a row with orphan full, now maybe the word in the face is obscure, but I still know the words of the song. And I, I um, kind of modified the chords to the way I was singing it. Because it's actually the chords are strung much faster, like twice the speed. Um, so when I was a little Billy, got my ways over to my city, so they shipped me off to the orphanage. Said this is a roof if you want to fit in. So I dug one thousand holes, got a rug with often fold. Many in the blurred and the face is obscure, but I still know the words of the song. But, of course, all of this really depends on how you're going to sing it and how you want to sing it and shit like that. And, um, I noticed a while ago, um, that, uh, the bri the tabbing out of the bridge part where it's actually the verse. When you bungle all your bingo, when you bungle all your bingo, then your love would have been mangled. So, you know, if you have a... Um, I'm itchy. If you have an ear for music, you can probably figure it out based off of that. Um, but the tapping out of the bridge, you're playing the first part twice. And again. Now, I play it a lot faster than I have to, um, but that's me. I enjoy fast-paced music. That's why whenever I play this... I don't need to do that. Of course, all, like, a lot of people ask for chords and stuff like that in reality, or not chords, the strumming pattern and stuff like that. Like, hey, how are you supposed to strum this? The the irony behind that is the fact that when you're covering a song, you need to try to put your own spin on it. You don't want to, like, you don't want to copy the person exactly. And the, and the number one way of uh, changing your own or sorry, making your own voice for it is by not knowing the strumming pattern, just going with it. Because I know uh, for Loyalty by Acoustic and Overony, it's down, down, up, up, down. Kind of messed up that last part. And in tune with the chords... me personally i find that like it, it's kind of tedious to have to um strum a certain way and i personally like the sound of this more anyway now 
Now, of course, I'm pretty, I, I, I am mostly doing the same score pattern, but I'm, uh, alternating it slightly. And, of course, you know, I play the, I, I, um, I played the intro with it, too. So that kind of also gives me a motive to change up the picking style. So, yeah. Um, so hopefully I was able to upload all of this into one video. If not, I hope you enjoyed both the videos, but if so, I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. It doesn't really matter to me, and I will see you guys next time.